everybody's talking right now and philosophizing about going transparent yet nobody really knows how to do that so Molson is doing a first example of what being transparent means. Transparency is uh, knowing you can put your back against the wall and stand by the facts. You're going to, uh, you're going to win or lose by the facts. You give the straight goods um, and you don't spin it and if you have a problem you, uh, you own up to it and, and you go off to solve it. What does it mean for a large corporation to open their doors and open all their employees to a documentary crew? Uh, we, we have a, a documentarian here, uh, Billy Mintz, who has a camera here. We have given him access to everyone within Molson, unscripted, unfettered, to be able to interview them and ask the questions he wants because we have a fundamental belief that what we're doing in terms of social responsibility uh, decisions around responsible drinking is right. You know what? This is transparency in action. I may ultimately live to regret it, um, and, and, and it may be a little ugly when it comes out, <clears throat> but at least we'll learn from it. You know, there is a risk by having you interview people. We don't have any control over that, but we're absolutely confident that um, you know, you will see what this company is about simply by talking to people within it. Well, it's a big risk, I think. I'm uh, quite surprised, to be honest. I think it's good business for them because they have come a long way. I think it's good that they're stepping up, dying to see how it ends up at the end of the day. <laughs> I won't lie to you, right? And the whole point of this documentary is to get all the opinions out there to foster the discussion and get people talking and start getting the ideas flowing in a more positive manner so that the message can actually get out and reach people. And then I know that there's the, the, this gentleman at Western who's a red light because he's an advocate against the brewers. We have been kind of been told by a few separate people that he's a red light. He's not the kind of person we want to talk to because he's such a personality. And to me, that's all part of the transparency is we need to talk to him then. If they're saying don't talk to him, he obviously has something to say. Come on in. I began working with the predecessor of MAD Canada probably 15 years ago and have continued to work with that, with that organization. I'm now uh, officially uh, affiliated with them as a national director of legal policy. Part of the difficulty is we have the industry spending $250 million a year convincing young people that alcohol is like portable fun. Don't go home without it. Uh, you know, it's a fun product. Um, it's a social product. It, 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 it brings people together. A large percentage of all youth culture is dominated by the alcohol industry. We allow them to do that. And then we're surprised that young people end up dead on our highways. And you know, if, if, if people are worried about who's delivering the message, um, how it's being delivered, you know, that needs to be checked by the door. Right now in our society, the simple reality is the industry makes all the money, society picks up all the pieces. Fight after fight, night after night, car accident after car accident. But I can tell you we are happy to meet with anybody, anywhere, anytime, and we don't have preconceived prejudices. Now, some people believe that Molson's is in competition with Labatt's. Uh, for those of you who believe that, I have Swampland to sell you later on, and some Briex shares. Molson's is in competition with milk and orange juice and pop. They want to normalize alcohol consumption. They want to maximize sales. You know, this is so important. You know, the ability to save, you know, a single life, through someone making a responsible choice, there is not any room for ego. Some groups really see us as the big bad guy, and I don't think that they realize that we're not here to hurt anybody. It's really difficult for me to see us or, or believe that we're big brewer knowing all of those things, big bad brewer, evil brewer, but I get that, uh, that some would look at us like that. But there's nothing to hide. You know, that's the joke. There is nothing to hide because people already have their beliefs and if they think you're the big evil brewery, then you're better off to at least show them what the hell you really do do. Wait, we don't have all the answers. We're doing what we think is right. And you think of transparency, Molson is a beer company. Last time I checked. <laughs> and Molson wants to sell more beer. We want to sell more beer responsibly. You know, that's, that's transparency with respect to what our business is all about. And people, let's see ulterior motive. We want to sell more beer. 
I don't think that's an ulterior motive. I think that's darn good for our, for our shareholders. People will have to judge for themselves whether the people they've seen, completely unscripted, um, in your movie are big, bad, and have got bad intentions. And I want to be able to show whoever sees this documentary, wherever, whenever, that at least they see a company that believes it's doing the right thing. People may, may not agree with it, but at least it's, it's, you know, they'll see people, real people, trying to do the real thing.